guys. We got some eye grip studs here. That's the number of them. Model, I guess. They are 30 millimeter. That's length, so that's just over an inch, I guess. Two, uh, 200 of them in the box. I'll be honest, I have installed these a couple years ago. A, a couple of them on, on uh, the tracks for the winter, but I took them off for the summer. I didn't run them last winter. Um, we're gonna we are gonna install some for you guys and, and, and see how it works. So a little carbide tip, I guess. You can see that. And send this tool to install them. I've taped a bit on there because it pain in the butt, but we're gonna go install some on the track for you guys. So all right guys, so we got these studs we're gonna put them in this skid sear track here the last time i had these on i had one in each pad on the outside right in the center and i think this time i'm gonna stagger them maybe so like one here one here one here one here just stagger them i'm only gonna do the outside because the inside's pain to get in won't have room for the drill so i guess we'll start so they got this bit and they just lock in kind of like that Put them in like that. And put one on this side. Don't go in too deep, but and so the reason a guy would do this. Uh, these tracks are getting worn out as you can see this this style of pat this block pattern is awful in the snow don't even waste your time if you're buying a machine um, go ahead and buy the zigzags right off the bat don't even waste your time with these tracks um, but this should help Snow pollen. Fairly easy to install. They will rip out. They will rip out on you, so try not to turn on cement and stuff like that. Try not to spin out in rocks. But they do help a nice. can't remember the price of them for the 200 but it wasn't it was maybe a couple hundred bucks We'll do the other side and then we have to rotate the track and we'll get the rest so <clears throat> all right guys we got done putting these studs in i did a kind of a zigzag pattern just on the outside block here um, i didn't bother doing the inside one i don't think it's worth it we got both sides and they're not they don't stick out like that crazy much but it should help on the ice and the hard pack snow when I'm plowing. Easy to do, it took me 10 minutes maybe. One battery on the DeWalt drill, which is insane. Usually it's every two minutes you're swapping batteries, but uh, you guys should know probably that these aren't gonna be your be all end all. Your machine's not gonna be insane. You know, it's not gonna make you drive through the forest like a billy goat. It should help on the ice and snow though and that's kind of what we want because you guys run these tracks you know what i'm talking about they are awful in the snow and ice you might as well 
You might as well take the tracks off and run on the rollers. You're right? Like, it's terrible. So we'll, we'll see how they work now with the few studs in there. As you can see, they're not not insane, but they do help a little bit. They're still in there, so surprised they didn't rip any out. Actually, to be honest, but they do help on this ice. So there she have it. The eye grip studs put in a skid steer track machine 30 millimeter cheap easy to do easy to take out I'd recommend them if you're in the market for making these things a little better in the snow thanks for watching make sure you guys like and subscribe appreciate it good Christmas